The tobacco industry spends $110.5 million each year promoting tobacco products in Minnesota. That amounts to over $12,000 every hour alone. A newly formed coalition in Brainerd is working to combat the rising use of tobacco in Minnesota. Reporter Rachel Johnson has more. A recent survey conducted by Crow Wing Energized found that the amount of people in Crow Wing County that use tobacco products has increased to 23.3% from 17.7% just in the last four years. Between our last two community health surveys, there was a 5% increase in tobacco use in Crow Wing County. Uh, which is pretty much opposite of kind of all of the national trends. A new coalition in Brainerd, founded by Crowing Energized, is working to figure out why. Hopefully um, we'll be able to get that number down of the overall tobacco use, um, which right now is about 23 percent, so it's almost one in four. The rise in tobacco use in the county is surprising and concerning for the coalition. Tobacco um, and smoking is the number one cause of preventable death in the U.S. It affects overall health. I mean, there's so many things, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, cancers. One reason the coalition is looking at as to why the rate in tobacco use has increased is the emerging popularity of e-cigarettes. According to a study by the Minnesota Department of Health, over 40% of e-cigarette users would never have used tobacco products if not for e-cigarettes. The use of other other devices such as um, e-cigarettes or vaping, same thing, um, kind of another gateway into the, using tobacco later on in life. The coalition has many possible routes that they are looking at taking to reduce tobacco use. Some involve just things like uh, different media campaigns, um, educational campaigns. It could also include different things at a policy level, um, either at the city or county levels. I know that they've been working in Duluth and Hermantown um, raising the limit to 21 for buying tobacco products, hoping to offset that younger youth population starting with any nicotine products because that, that can eventually lead into tobacco use as adults. The coalition plans to meet regularly and work together so that instead of increasing, tobacco use starts decreasing in Crowing County. Reporting from Brainerd, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. The next meeting of the Tobacco Coalition will be on February 20th at 11 in the morning at Essentia St. Joseph's Medical Center. Anyone from the community is welcome to attend. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.